is coming. This could just be the beginning. I got a call on the 24th saying um, they are considering you to play the baddie in the next Star Trek film. I went, well, as in the J.J. Abrams franchise, and I went, yeah. I went, oh, nice. Um, can I see a script? No. Can I see something? No. What, who am I playing? We can't tell you. No ship should go down without her captain. When I first read the script, it was completely hooked. And the idea of working with JJ after the success of the first franchise, you know, he's such a smart, witty, and just lovely guy to be around as well. But he, he, I thought he just pinned every detail and flavor and tone of that first film was, was judged so sublimely well. Give me one reason why I should listen to you. I can give you 72. And they're on board your ship, Captain. They have been all along. It's just absurdly good fun. It gets to the point sometimes where you... You don't will it to be harder work, but you just you, you wonder sometimes whether you're actually really in your right to get paid for what you do. I mean, it's really good fun. There was one time, the hours are crazy, but that's just, that's just the way of doing a big film like this. You just have to work until you get the day done. JJ has great respect for actors and their process. So there's always a time and a place for play, but also for serious concentration and getting on with the job. And it's just a great mixture of dynamics to have on set.